Good afternoon children. This is your GK and conversation textbook and we will open to page number 2626. Page number 2626. Lesson number 2323. Lesson number 2 and 323. We write today's date. Today's date is 1, 2, 12, slash 1. We read it as 12th January. Very good. Well, children. Now, very often we see that small children fall sick most of the time. Small children like you going to school fall sick most of the time why when you were babies mummy used to look after yourself very well so you were happy and healthy but once you know how to go out and play you start going to school and to all the other places we start falling sick why? Because many of the times we don't take care of our body. We don't take care of our body. We don't keep it clean. We don't keep it clean. Or sometimes you are playing in the mud and touching here and there. And after that, soon you are ready to eat. But you forget that you have played in the mud and the dust. So you have to wash your hands before eating anything. Even a small chocolate if you have to eat after playing. It is very very important for you to wash your hands. Right? If we follow some rules. And we understand when we are small that mummy cannot be with us every time. Now in school, you come alone. Mummy and daddy does not come with you. So you should know at that time how to keep yourself clean. At school, at play and all the other things. How you have to keep yourself clean. Neat, clean and healthy. Now, with keeping our bodies clean and neat and healthy, it is also very important to keep our home, our school and our surroundings clean. It is not only for our body. If the surrounding is dirty, means the place where you're staying or you're playing or you're learning is dirty, you will fall sick. Even if you keep yourself clean, you will fall sick because the place where you are sitting is dirty, right? With keeping ourselves clean, it is also very important to keep our surrounding. Surrounding means Maybe our home or our school and all other places you visit. Now, sometimes you go to the garden, to the park, you eat and you throw here and there. Right? Never do that. To keep your surroundings clean, you need to throw the garbage in the dustbin or the garbage bin. Right, children? Yes. And also... When you keep your surroundings clean, there are no mosquitoes, there are no flies. I had told you last time, there are no cockroaches, right? When you keep your home, your school and your surroundings clean. And because all these insects do not come, you are healthy. So let's see what are the things you need to follow. There are very important rules you have to follow. Let's see. Now, what is this girl doing? 
this girl is brushing her teeth this girl is brushing her teeth with a brush and a tooth paste you cannot brush your teeth without a brush or a tooth paste right i hope you are using a tooth brush and not your finger yes your finger will not help in keeping your teeth clean you need to use a tooth brush and a tooth paste to keep your teeth your mouth clean now small children eat more of unhealthy food that is more of chocolates pizzas burgers and all these food is not at all healthy for our body or our mouth or our teeth so whenever you eat these unhealthy food you need to brush your teeth first brushing of the teeth removes the dirt stuck into your tooth stuck into your tooth so with brushing your teeth the dirt is removed the dirt is removed and your teeth look healthy and white right children yes so now when do you brush your teeth after a good night sleep when you get up early in the morning there are many germs playing in your mouth during the night right now most of the children have the habit of eating chocolates or sweet at night before sleeping right they eat lots of sweet and juicy things in the night they do not brush their teeth and they go off to sleep now what happens when you sleep there are many many germs coming in your mouth and they start enjoying the food which you have eaten they start enjoying all the germs come out in your mouth and they start eating the food stuck in your teeth right there are many of them now what happens full night all the germs have enjoyed the sweet things in your mouth you get up early in the morning and without brushing again you eat something or you go out to play what happens then the germs which are still in your mouth are not removed right they are not removed when you have not brushed your teeth so they are still there in your mouth and then when they are still there they start eating up your teeth and then all most of the children have broken teeth right i have seen many children in my class with broken tooth i have asked them what happened to your tooth who ate it and they tell me that teacher i eat too much of chocolates and that is why i have no tooth they are breaking off right and they are becoming brown and yellow because they are not brushing their teeth even if you eat you need to brush your teeth to keep your mouth clean you need to brush your teeth using a toothbrush and toothpaste twice a day now what is twice a day twice means two times twice means two times first when you get up early in the morning before any work you have to first brush your teeth and clean your mouth so that all the germs are thrown out and they do not return back to your stomach yes first is early in the morning now twice two times the second is at night before going to sleep at night before going to sleep it is very important to brush your teeth 
again with toothbrush and toothpaste because the whole day you have eaten uh, many more things right you have eaten all types of food so when you brush your teeth at night all those food particles which have stuck into your teeth are thrown out and your mouth is healthy the whole night there will be no germs coming in your mouth so brush our teeth twice a day right brush our teeth twice a day it helps us to keep our mouth clean it helps us to keep our mouth clean so what is the first rule you have to follow when you get up early in the morning and the second one when you are off to sleep at night before sleeping you have to brush your teeth and then only sleep so the first rule to keep yourself clean is brush our teeth twice a day twice means two times a day in one day you have to brush two times let us see what happens next after brushing your teeth the next rule is very important to have a clean bath to have a clean bath and while bathing it is very important to use water and soap water and soap right yes when you put soap on your body it removes all the germs which are stuck to our skin it removes all the germs stuck to our skin when we are playing outside you have must have seen when you are playing for a lot of time your body starts scratching you have sweat on your body and your body starts scratching those are the germs that are biting you right so to remove them you have to use a soap only water does not help the germs to come out of the skin you need to put soap also right children now this boy is having a nice bath using a shower but children you have to use water very carefully right you have to use a bucket you have to use a bucket to have bath using shower we are wasting a lot of water right we are wasting lot of water right so always when you are having a bath use water taken in a bucket and also put soap and then only you can keep your body clean with soap and water so what is the second rule to be clean it is have a bath every day don't be lazy in having bath you get up early in the morning sometimes maybe some small children start crying oh mommy today i don't want to have bath no children even if you are lazy it is very important to keep your body clean right so you have to take a bath every day and also you can take a bath when you have returned from outside right yes let us see the next rule now these children are combing their hair they are combing their hair why they are combing to keep them neat and clean with all those shabby hair when you don't comb your hair looks so shabby so untidy and that makes you also look untidy right yes one one strip of hair coming from the front and one side and one behind makes you look untidy so to look neat and tidy you need to comb your hair neatly now 
all the girls who have long hair should always oil their hair means always apply oil on their hair to keep them clean and also the boys you need to apply hair oil on your hair so that they sit in proper place and they make you look beautiful and handsome right so our next rule to be clean is comb our hair neatly comb our hair neatly right children very good what does the next rule say ah uh ah -uh, this girl is cutting her nails but it is very harmful also small ch children should not cut or trim their nails by themselves right because the nail cutter is sharp you might hurt your finger so if you have elders your big sister your elder brother your mummy or daddy you must tell them to cut your nails regularly now what happens when your nails grow up you don't cut them they start growing longer and longer and then when you go out to play or when you are eating something all the food or the dust or the mud gets stuck into your nails they get stuck into your nails and then when you sit to eat your food without cleaning and washing your hands all that that dirt and dust and food particles enter your mouth then your stomach and then you have stomach pain right children yes always keep your fingers clean the nails clean and for trimming with the nail cutter you must always tell your mummy or daddy or any elder person to cut your nails but see that you keep your nails clean always check your nails if they are growing longer and if they are clean so this rule is cut and clean our nails cut and clean our nails the next rule is what are these two children doing they are covering their mouth with handkerchiefs they are covering their mouth with handkerchiefs right yes he is coughing oh <laughs> he is coughing so whenever you are coughing you should always keep handkerchief on your mouth because all those germs which are there in your mouth when you are coughing they all come out and maybe they might get into some other person right yes so always use a handkerchief to cover your mouth when you are coughing and this girl is sneezing at too she is sneezing she might have cold so she is sneezing at too so when you are sneezing also the germs in your nose when you are sneezing get out of your body so they might touch some other person right so you have to cover your nose well sneezing with a handkerchief so what is this rule very important cover our nose and mouth with a clean handkerchief very important you cannot use the same and same and same dirty handkerchief all the time you have to wash it and make it clean to use for another time when we cough sneeze or 
yawn. Now, what is yawn? Yawn is when you are feeling sleepy, right? You do ha ah, when you are feeling sleepy, and that is not a good habit. It's not a good habit to yawn in front of any person, maybe in your home or in school, or when you are at the party also. You yawning in front of anybody is a bad habit. So when you feel like yawning, you're sleepy and you have to make that big noise, you always cover your mouth. You always cover your mouth with a handkerchief. With a handkerchief. Right children? So this rule is cover our nose and mouth with a clean handkerchief when we cough sneeze or yawn very good what is the next rule yes what is this boy doing he is washing his hands he is washing his hands with water with water very important children to follow this rule when you have to eat your food or your fruit or any food. You have to clean and wash your hands with water and soap also. Because even if your hands are clean sometimes and you have not gone for play, there are germs in the air which come and stick to our skin on our hands and fingers also so before eating anything you need to wash your hands with water wipe them clean with a clean towel and then only have your food right so there are no germs on your hand because you have washed them clean and so there will be no germs entering your mouth and your stomach so, what is this rule telling us? Wash our hands before. Before means when you are about to have your food. And after eating. After means when you have finished your food. After having your food also, your hands become dirty. Your hands become dirty or oily. So, after eating also, it is very important to wash your hands with water and soap. Right, children? Yes. So, this rule is wash our hands before and after eating. Very good. Now, what are these children doing? This girl is sweeping. And the boy is throwing the garbage or the dust in the dustbin. Very important. When you are in school, you see dust anywhere around you. You need to pick it up and throw it in the dustbin. At home, sometimes you can sweep also your room to keep your room clean to keep your room clean because if you have dirt and dust in your room there will be flies house flies mosquitoes and cockroaches coming into your room right so keep your surroundings your home your school and your play park clean if you see any rubbish throw it in the dustbin throw it in the dustbin so this rule is telling us to keep our surrounding clean our neighborhood clean the place we are living or the place we are going to learn something or when we are going to a park keep your surrounding clean so the rule is throw rubbish in a dustbin throw rubbish in a dustbin. Very good. 
and the next rule is keep our books neat and tidy now what happens when the day is over school is done you are back home you throw your bag you throw your books you throw your socks you throw your shoes anywhere no very bad habit right it is a very bad habit when you are done at school and you are going back home reached home you remove your shoes and socks keep them neatly at one place socks you have to put for washing your uniform you need to put for washing your bag you keep neatly in your room right you keep neatly your bag in your room your books also you have to keep neat and clean because if you throw your and there all the covering of the books bend out and they look very untidy the book looks untidy now i have seen many children in my class i have seen their books with all dal and chicken in that why because they are doing their homework while eating food which is very very wrong which is very very wrong you should not do anything else when you are having your food have your food silently no reading or writing when you are having your food and when you are studying only study this helps you to become intelligent also smart also and your books are also neat and tidy so when you are back at home you finish your homework keep your books neat and tidy in one place your maths book in the bedroom your english book in the kitchen your gk book in the gallery and your activity book in the garden or oh no the next day you have to keep on searching for all your books so when you don't need your book at one time you keep them in a clean and neat place together because the next time when you need them you don't have to run to bedroom kitchen hall and your garden but you go to your shelf the where the books are kept the cupboard is called shelf you go to the shelf and take your book when teacher is teaching english you can get your english book at that place if she is teaching maths you will you will get your maths book at the right place you need not run here and there for your books because you have kept them neat and tidy in one place so this rule tells us to keep our books neat and tidy right children now all these tell us about cleanliness right all these rules tell us about how to keep ourselves our body and our surroundings our homes our school our gardens and parks our roads clean it is very important to follow all these rules now children all our schools are closed right are you going to the school no we are studying at home right yes but we are not going to the school why come on now tell me fast why are the schools closed down and we are not going out yes because there is corona outside right it is spreading why why is it spreading because we do not keep ourselves clean we do not keep our surroundings clean and we do not take care of our body and others also right that is why in these days right it is very important to wash your hands before eating if you have gone outside or whether you have not gone you are inside the home also it is very important to wash your hands before putting anything in your mouth to eat the food 
right brush your teeth so that all the germs are removed from your mouth using a toothbrush a toothpaste and if possible warm water not too hot not too cold is warm water keep yourselves clean with having a bath using soap and water right and very important during these days use a handkerchief when you have to cough when you have to sneeze or you have to yawn use a handkerchief keep one extra handkerchief always with you right cut and clean your nails because if the dirt is stuck into your nails and you eat your food with the same nails they get into your mouth and then stomach and then you fall sick right so these are some rules very very important rules to follow to keep our body our surrounding clean right children yes now we have one question here let's read how should we keep ourselves clean come on now tell me one by one how should we keep ourselves clean what do we need to do we need to brush our teeth twice a day have a bath every day comb our hair neatly cut and clean our nails cover our nose and mouth with a clean handkerchief when we cough sneeze or yawn wash our hands before and after eating throw rubbish in a dustbin and keep our books neat and tidy right children so these are some of the things you need to do to keep ourselves clean to keep ourselves clean so this was the answer we should now let's repeat okay you have to repeat after me how should we keep ourselves clean answer we should brush our teeth twice a day repeat brush our teeth twice a day have a bath every day comb our hair neatly cut and clean our nails cover our nose and mouth with a clean handkerchief when we cough sneeze or yawn wash our hands before and after eating right only till here because these are the rules which we have to follow to keep ourselves clean and these two we need to follow to keep our surroundings clean right children yes so today we learnt about cleanliness not only for ourselves our body but also for all those who are staying near us our surroundings need to be clean also so children you have to say these sentences and learn this one question thank you